What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do an unboxing video of an SV Boney SV605CC cooled one-shot color astro camera. SV Boney sent this to me for evaluation and um, I'm gonna start with the unboxing and hopefully this week if the weather allows I'm gonna do some imaging with this camera and using my SV503 102ED refractor telescope. So let's see what's inside this box. It's well packed for sure. So box in a box. All right, let's try to get it out. All right, so there's the first box is out and then there's one more box in it. I presume it's gonna be like the power supply. So let's uh, start with uh, a smaller box. Yep, just as suspected. That's the power supply for the camera. This seems familiar. I've had SV Boney cameras in the past. This is fairly similar to that. All right, so then let's see the main box. Okay, all right. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Okay, we have a nose piece for a telescope. This is a one and a quarter inch. We have some rings here. This is actually the camera inside this padded case. Uh, we have this little holder ring that can hold filters, one and a quarter inch filters. Okay, we have the 3.0 USB cable. What else? There is another ring. I think this is like a step up or step down ring. A nice little cleaning cloth. Oh, a few shims, I guess. And we have a user manual. Awesome. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna unpack the actual camera. I'm going to take it out from the padded case. And here it is. It's a nice gray color. And uh, physically it's very similar, if not the same, looking as their SV405 one-shot camera. So it looks very good and very well put together. So on the back, we see their name, the model name SV605CC. We have the USB 3.0 port <clears throat> and we have the DC 12 volt for the cooling. Um, if this is like their SV405 camera, then this, the camera itself will work without the power supply. The power supply is needed for the cooling though. So there is a cooling fan here, some uh, uh, cooling outlets. And as for the sensor, it's under this cover. And this is a square shaped one inch sensor. I think as far as I know, it's like 11 millimeters by 11 millimeters. And this is based on 
Sony's uh, IMX 533 sensor, which is a very good sensor. It's a smaller size sensor, um, so you can use one and a quarter inch filters with this camera easily. There's not gonna be any vignetting. So uh, the other specs of the camera, I'm gonna put them on the screen. But basically it's a CMOS IMX 533 sensor. The resolution is 3008 by 3008 pixels. So it's roughly nine megapixels. Uh, the pixel size is 3.76 uh, micrometers. And this has um, the ADC's 14 bits. Like I said, it takes the USB 3.0 and um, it has a very low readout noise. And um, I think this has no amp glow either. So this is a very good sensor without the amp glow. As I mentioned before, this is a cooled one-shot color camera. So what's the purpose of cooling? Well, cooling the sensor partly lowers the noise. Also, cooling the sensor to a consistent temperature that we can reproduce every night gives us the opportunity to build up a dark frame library. So we use dark frames to improve the image quality and reduce noise. And um, with uh, uncooled cameras, usually when we do imaging at a given temperature, we have to do the dark frames. We have to shoot dark frames right then and there. So the dark frames are taken at the same temperature as our light frames. Now, with a cooled camera, we can consistently cool the camera, camera to the same temperature every night, let's say minus five Celsius. And then we can build up a dark frames library. We can even do it inside the house. We just cool the camera to minus five and then we take the desired dark frames. And as a result, we don't have to do that at night out when we were imaging for four hours, five hours, and it's 3 a.m. We don't have to spend time. We don't have to waste time to actually do half an hour of dark frames. So that's very, very convenient. So this particular camera's sensor has an AR coating. So the glass in front of the sensor has an anti-reflective coating. Uh, some manufacturers do just an anti-reflective coating and then it's up to you to provide a UV or IR cut filter if you wish to do so. Some other manufacturers actually give you the option of uh, choosing an AR coating or a built-in UV IR cut uh, cover in front of the sensor. So again, in a nutshell, let's take a look at what was in the box besides the camera. So we see a bunch of uh, extension rings and adapter rings, um, step-up ring, which is I think an M42 to M48. We see some shims here to uh, precisely set our back focus if needed. There's some other rings. There is the nose piece, basically. Now there is this little ring, which is technically called the uh, T2 one and a quarter inch adapter. What this thing does is that it can screw into this uh, T2 adapter, which is attached to the camera right now. So it screws in like this, but inside this ring, we can screw a one and a quarter inch filter. So this already solves our filter problem, where to, where to put the filter. So we just screw the filter in here and then screw it inside this first ring. This is the T2 adapter. So that's it for now. This concludes our unpacking video. So again, this is SV Boney's SV605CC cooled one-shot color camera. And I can't wait to use this and try this uh, hopefully tomorrow, um, the weather permitting. So I'm planning on attaching this camera to my SV Boney SV503 102ED 102mm refractor telescope. That telescope uh, has been featured in a couple of my other videos. I really like that telescope and I can't wait to see what this camera can do on it. So, um, and with the uh, provided accessories, it's gonna be no problem to attach this to the, to the telescope. And in the meantime, uh, if you like my channel and my videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it. And um, I will see you guys next time.